As the entire NFL world waits to see which team ends up for Julio Jones, one has come into focus. The Seattle Seahawks is according to ESPN's own Diana Rossini. The Seahawks and Falcons have had discussions about a trade that would send the star wide out to Seattle, while Russell Wilson and Jones have spoken over the phone over recent weeks about the possibility of playing together. Russell Wilson isn't one to rely on his tight ends and running backs. In fact, he registered the league's best QBR when targeting wide receivers last season, completing over 70% of his attempts for 28 touchdowns and just five interceptions. It's important to keep in mind that Seattle did not have a first-round pick in 2021 and won't again in 2022 because of the Jamal Adams deal. So they could be, again, following the Rams model of just selling away those first-round picks for win-now pieces. I can see Mina Kimes, and she is already smiling about this possibility. Mina, is it smart <laughs> for your Seahawks to try to get Julio Jones? <coughs> is it smart, Field? Maybe not. <laughs> should they do it anyways? I think so. Or at least I think they should be on the phone. Um, you know, we're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers later in the show, as we do often these days, and the rift <laughs> between him and the Packers, and what the organization could have done to avoid getting in this situation with their quarterback. Seattle, right now, has the opportunity to make moves to avoid going down that road that the Packers are in with Rodgers. And, and is it responsible? No, it's not responsible. You said it. I mean, they've already given away draft picks. Uh, from a cap perspective, I actually think they can afford it. Julio's not particularly expensive after this year. But the absence of young talent on that roster will cost them in the future. But it's not about the future when you got Russell Wilson and you want to make him happy and you want to compete Thank now. You. And boy, would they compete with Julio Thank Jones. You. This would be a top three offense in the NFL. And to me, that is their best path to a Super Bowl is having a top three offense. So I think Seattle should definitely be in the mix. I don't know if it's realistic, but they should put in the call. <laughs> Yo, listen, Mina. When I playing in that league for nine years, one thing that stood the test of time with a bunch of coaches in the NFL, what have you done for me lately? Mm. And every team that has an opportunity to get Julio Jones should do it. All right, and you know how I am about the cap. Let's not go there. Julio Jones <laughs> with the Seattle Seahawks would catapult them to being the number one team in their division. Yes, I said it because I believe that much in Russell Wilson, I believe that much in how much of a matchup nightmare that will be with him and DK Metcalf on the outside and Tyler Lockett in the slot, unguardable. You got three guys that's unguardable. And I know Jalen Ramsey is over there with the Los Angeles Rams and Jalen can shut down one half of the field. But what do you do when you got two guys on both halves of the field? Do you have enough people? And when you look at this division that's built with really good defenses, if you're going to be Seattle and the and and the probably the fourth ranked defense, not probably the fourth ranked defense in this division, you better try to outscore people. I will feel very confident that Russell Wilson, DK Metcalf, and Tyler Lockett would be able to outscore people in this division. Julio in Seattle, you got to pick your poison, and rather, whether you pick the poison of DK Metcalf or Tyler Lockett, you still going to get bit <laughs> by that damn snake yeah. if they get Julio Jones. Yeah. A.J. Brown's out here campaigning to acquire Julio Jones. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's his college mm -hmm. teammate, DK Metcalf, who could actually make it happen. Kimberly, whether it's about a – Seahawks and Julio Jones trade or just a Julio Jones trade in general? What are people around the league saying about the possibility? Mm -hmm. oh, Field, everybody says uh, Julio Jones is phenomenal, but the price is too high. A lot of teams I've spoken to have said a one, ugh, I don't know if, I, you know, I would love to add him. However, giving up a one top tier draft capital, I don't know, I I'm hesitant to do it because of, you know, his age. The injury history, I know two teams in particular, the Ravens and the LA Rams, like they would like to add Julio Jones, but again, it's about the price. And if you're, if you're an opposing team and you're looking at who adding Julio Jones, you know the Falcons are desperate to move him, desperate to sign their draft class. You might look at that and say, why would we give up a one? We know how desperate you are. You need to bring that price down. So it'll be interesting to see what he actually does go for a field. Swagoo, did I see you raising your hand in there to get back in with something, or was that me making oh, things up? Yeah, go. man, I'm, uh -oh. I'm just, I'm, uh -oh. I'm giving up a one. 
That's all I wanted to say. I'm giving up a one. Yeah. I'm a guy that likes to deal with knowns. That's that's just me. I'm a guy that likes to deal with knowns. The one thing I do know, all right, barring health, that's the question for every player in the NFL. Mm, big, I know Julio health. Jones is going to play question, like a yes. first-round draft pick. Yeah. The, yes, 100%. We know. we know when he's healthy. When when he's healthy, there there are a few receivers who are better. The question another team has to ask itself is, do you know, do you know, Swagoo, that he will be healthy? You don't know. You know that you might get one year. You could get four years. But as one NFL head coach told me, that you're playing with fire. Because when wide receivers, when corners drop off, they drop off quick. So a lot of, it's got to be a team that is, that is on the doorstep of the Super Bowl, that feels it is right there, and Julio puts them over the edge. Yeah. But there are a few teams that fit that bill. Yeah, I'll just say one more thing about Seattle. In addition to um, pleasing Russell Wilson, which I think you can't underestimate. You don't want to have that kind of drama right. they had earlier in the season. Another reason why I think uh, the fan base should be happy if they sign Julio is that it means they're going to continue throwing the football. You know, there's a lot of jokes around this team and how much, how run heavy they were in the past. But last year, they were passing mm -hmm. on early downs at a rate higher than most of the NFL. You're not trading a first or second for Julio Jones to go back to the old pound the rock philosophy. You got three, right. sometimes four wide receivers on the field on, on many downs. And I think for Seattle, that is the best way to approach the offense. I can just see Pete Carroll sitting here like, oh, yeah, we're not going to pound the rock. Me and I'll show you what happens. We got Julio Jones and DK and Tyler Lockett. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.